All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great weekend. This video is to announce that the final release of Mio JWM Debian version is now available. And I will post links in the description of the video. And I'm going to go over a few things. There's not many changes, although there are a couple of changes that I personally consider to be major changes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the major changes are, number one, earlier this week when I was working on the final release, I just happened to be looking over the Arch, uh, the Arch Wiki about SLIM, the SLIM Display Manager. And the Arch Wiki said that SLIM does not interact very well with LogND. And I have to admit that it doesn't matter because I have been using SLIM on Debian now ever since I first started these builds from the Alpha, uh, the alpha build and I have had absolutely no issues. However, I started thinking that, you know, even though I don't have any issues with it, and I even upgraded one of my test installs up to Debian testing and still had no issues. Everything worked great, everything was fine, but I started thinking, you know, that this could be an isolated case and I don't want to risk the possibility that other people might have a problem using the Slim Display Manager on Debian and possibly having a problem with LogND. So that got me thinking, let's look for another Display Manager. So I, my second favorite Display Manager is LXDM. So while I was thinking about it, I thought, well, let's look and see what the Arch Wiki says about <laughs> LXDM. And it said LXDM only works with um, GTK2. And I'm going to try to quit saying um. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, it said it only works with GTK2 and things are moving to GTK3. So that made me go to my third choice, which is LightDM. So in this final release, the Mio Linux JWM Debian version is using um, LightDM for the display manager. And this is what your login screen is going to look like. And I really hated it. I <laughs> I hated having to do it because I love the slim login screen that I came up with, but a user's, a user's, oh, what's the word I'm thinking, trying to think of, the ability for the user to have an experience without problems is more important. So this is the login screen that you will get on the final version. Get this background, get the light DM. It will automatically show your login name. You just have to fill in your password, hit enter, and you can log in. All right. The other major change, and let me pull up, this is an actual installation of the final version. Let me pull up the release notes. The other major change is having to do with the Mio Linux update notifier. Let me find what number that is. There it is right there, number eight. Okay. Try to find that. There it is. And I'm just going to read this to you. Number eight, the Mio Linux update notifier. After realizing 
that I was breaking one of my core beliefs by <laughs> by including something that a user may not want on their system I decided not to include the Mio Linux update notifier however I did leave it I did leave its line included in the auto start section of the JW MRC files to help anyone who may want to install it and I go through here if you'd like to install it I give I give a link here there's three versions available and brief descriptions of how each version works all right let me go over a few items really nothing else has changed but I do want to go over a few I'm not going to go over JWM menu. I think I ex explained that pretty good. The theme changer, I explained that. Conky and Conky Chooser. Now, these two items actually are kind of related in how they. Uh, if you change, like if you edit the JWM RC file, or if you edit the Conky RC file, it's kind of the same situation so let me minimize this right here this is the default let me change the uh, conky go to conky chooser and I'm trying to think which one would be the easiest to edit mm, not necessarily easiest to edit but easiest to show let's go conversation I'll change that to the conversation and hello Dan blah 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 ha ha okay <laughs> let's say this is this or any of the other conky RC's are the one you want to use on your system and you want to edit it well let me give you a little bit I've, I think I have covered this in every release since the alpha version but let's say you want to edit the Conky RC file and whenever you edit the Conky RC file it's only going to edit the one that's showing right now okay so let me go down here I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this I'm going to edit this that's the end of the Conky RC, so let me add something to it. Uh, what can I... Let's see, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. And I don't know if I'm spelling those correctly. V, V, J, W, M, D. I came, I saw, I JWM'd. <laughs> I'm going to save that. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> I came, I saw, I JWM'd. Now, what you need to do, and this goes for the JWMRC file also. Like, if you're, if you're doing the dark, there's only two themes available dark theme and light theme if you edit one of these themes you should copy the JWMRC file that's in your home folder and well let me just show you turn on hidden files what you'll do is where is it there it is JW let's say we have edited this we're going to copy it, go to dot config, JWM, and we're doing the dark theme. Open that folder right there and paste it in there. Overwrite it. And that way, if you switch themes for some reason and you've done a lot of editing, you'll still have those edits on your. Uh, system when you switch back and the same goes for your conky RC 
I have edited this conky and I want that to be available if I just happen to switch conkies I want this one to stay like I like I have edited it edited it, edited it. <laughs> so I'm gonna copy this conky RC <laughs> I'm gonna go to dot config conky and this is the conversation conky so I'll open that folder and I will paste that in there and override it and now let's switch conkies to make sure that my edits have remained let's see what can I switch to I'll switch to basic there's the basic conky and I'll go back to conversation and there's my saved edits I came I saw I JWM'd <laughs> okay is there anything else that I want to cover in these release notes everything nothing else really has changed but let's look over it real quick just to double check the papyrus folder script that's pretty self-explanatory oh how to activate the firewall explanatory startup commands screenshots the volume icon let me touch on that real quick <clears throat> out of the box the volume icon if you left click on it you're going to expect to see a slider I'm not going to click on it because it's gonna mute the audio and I don't know how that will affect this uh, video right here but what you need to do is and I give I give the instructions right click on it go to preferences come over here to status icon click on that and right here under left mouse button action you see it's on mute volume just put that on show slider close it and now it's, there's the slider okay anything oh yes fix the sources list now this is a strange situation on I have three computers that I do test installs on and on some of them when I install it I have the sources list exactly like it should be but then at other times it doesn't show the sources list like it should so let me open up a terminal let me make sure there's anything else no let me open up a terminal and I'm gonna become root and let me do nano etc apt sources list alright now look right here we have on this this first section right here on this installation it's showing main non-free and contrib on some installations non-free and contrib are missing it just shows main so if you want non-free and contrib you'll need to add those make sure you check that okay now while I'm here I'm gonna delete some of this stuff let's see control K K K K K one more I'm gonna comment these out Comment that one out. I don't need it. Comment that one out. And I'm going to add back ports. Number 10. There, I give the back ports repo right here if you want to add it. 
gonna put it right here and always remember if you happen to change this you need to run an apt update I'm adding back ports now all I'm doing here I'm getting rid of these extra lines I don't need them all right control X to save Y for yes and enter and run an apt update and with Buster back ports you get you can have access to newer kernels um, I'm not going to go into all that several things were talked about with uh, adding back ports there's a actually a newer version of voco screen that you can get with back ports so just remember that but you don't have to add it if you don't want to let me exit is there anything else I do want to point this out in the menu under settings desktop preferences this does not work if you click on that you're gonna get a an error because you will need to if you want to use that and what that does it allows you to have desktop icons and it will also instead of nitrogen controlling your wallpaper you'll control the wallpaper through desktop preferences but just to show you that this does not work out of the box I'm going to click on it and as you see here blah 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 okay one other little change when you click on the clock and the calendar opens I went ahead and added the uh, title bar and I did that just for one specific purpose if you wanted to move this around you'd be able to do that otherwise you would have to what is it, I think alt yeah you have to hold down the alt key and use your left mouse button to move things around that's just an easy way if you want to move it around for any reason whatsoever there it is okay all right that's it I can't think of anything else really that I need to talk about the final version is now ready I have a lot of things I have to do uh, <laughs> starting tomorrow I'm gonna to work on my family's taxes which is always a really really fun time because my wife has two online businesses that is always a joy to <laughs> figure her taxes out and I have things going on at work and I've had a request I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the person's name I don't know if he would mind or not I've had a request to make a Debian version of i3 so I might kind of start working on that while I'm doing taxes when I need a break from the taxes and other than that that's it guys if you use this I hope you enjoy it hope you have a great weekend and you guys take care thanks